नमस्ते आई सिमरन कौशल वेलकम यू ऑल इन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस विच ओनली ऑन भारत ऑफ फर्स्ट साइंस विच इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन शॉर्ट क्रिस्प एंड यूनिक मैनर बाय द एक्सपर्ट्स इनहेंस योर साइंटिफिक नॉलेज एंड स्किल्स थ्रू साइंस साइंस विच इन्वॉल्व डिस्कशन अबाउट द वेरियस ट्रेंडिंग टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी Let your curiosity out and ask questions through a form provided in the description box below. Do make use of this opportunity. Now, I would like to introduce to a science expert, Dr. T. V. Venkateshwaran, who is a senior scientist at Vigyan Prasad, New Delhi. He is also founder of India Science Wire. So, today's question is. Very. Uh... interesting mission that uh, the uh, nasa is uh, proposing to send it's called uh, sunrise sunrise means sun radio infrometer space experiment sunrise so what it will have is it will have uh, six uh, cube sat cube sat meaning very small satellite okay in a shape of a uh, cube it will be uh, going around the earth in this configuration like this here six uh, thing Uh, along with uh, all the six cube sat together will create a 3d map of uh, the uh, uh, places where there are uh, burst happening in the sun okay so because you can continuously watch the sun using this kind of a 3d map wherever uh, there is a uh, like this you know wherever eruption on the sun happens okay so you can pinpoint the origination and then how they expand towards the uh, outward uh, uh, space how this uh, sun explosion is uh, expanding outside space if we uh, get this kind of information then we will be able to determine uh, what initiates and accelerates uh, uh, this uh, jets of radiation in uh, sun these are all things that you can understand in uh, uh, the sunrise uh, experiment okay so essentially sunrise experiment is to uh, observe for solar particle storm so what is solar particle storm right so sometimes on the surface of sun there are uh, eruptions you know something like for example when you are uh, burning uh, uh, let's say wood suddenly you will find a, a piece of flame uh, flying away right so in the same way in on surface of sun also there are some eruptions when that eruption happens large number of charged particles will uh, uh, be uh, spewed into the uh, space okay so that uh, there will be a surge of this uh, particle called as solar wind the wind will become a storm okay normally there will be wind but that wind will become a storm okay so this storms are uh, dangerous for our space objects like if you have uh, electronics in space and things of that kind this storm can completely destroy it right so uh, if you can observe and if you can uh, uh, forecast then you can uh, shut down your uh, space assets and then uh, save uh, 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 electronics in the space you know space craft uh, satellites going around earth even inter i mean uh, planetary travel if you want to travel to moon or other planets okay uh, you you uh, this will be very handy this information will be very handy so the uh, cube sat will look something like this okay basically it will be uh, above the ionosphere because it's a, a above ionosphere it will be able to uh, see the radio waves coming from sun so it will not be in optical telescope it will be a radio telescope okay so that's why it's called as a infrometer so it will be a, a radio telescope which will be used to uh, study the uh, uh, eruptions happening on the sun surface 